A 59X is a pretty outlandish prediction. First of all, let me state, it's not my prediction. It's a prediction of an article that I read in Seeking Alpha that I want to share with you because I think it has some merit, and it may be a 59X. I own it. My tribe owns it. In fact, that's how I became aware of it. Some members of my tribe brought it to my attention. We, in fact, did some videos on it uh, back on July 27th, uh, and then even further back on July 23rd. It's Abcellera. Abcellera, to give you some relevance, is kind of like what Netlist is to Google, Accelera is to the pharmaceutical industry. You may not know what Netlist is. That's a, another company that my tribe brought to my attention that developed a piece of software, a, an algorithm, an artificial intelligence program, and many years ago brought it to Google's attention and said, hey, this will give you a better search engine. And Google looked at it and said, we'll get back to you, and then stole it. And then um, more recently, Netlist has sued in, um, for patent infringement. And in fact, the patent courts have decided in their favor, and now we're waiting for a settlement. This is another stock that my tribe brought to my attention. We bought it three. It's just under nine now. But that let's get back to Ex Abcellera. Um, it is, as I said, to the pharmaceutical industry, what Netlist was to Google a number of years ago. If you know anything about the pharmaceutical industry, it's very competitive. It's, it's a bunch of people in white lab coats trying to find the next miracle drug um, that they can then in introduce to the public. Well, that all kind of changed, the, at least the competitive end of it, as we got to um, the coronavirus. And there was a call out, we have to find a cure for this. And Abcellera was working on an artificial intelligence package that basically would take data, sort it, and help people make quicker decisions. So they went to Eli Lilly and said, hey, let us help you help your lab technicians find this, what this strain of coronavirus is all about. And they, they did that. They used artificial intelligence. And I want to get into that in this video and show you why this article that I read that is about Accelera predicts that this is going to go from a $15.62 stock today to a $919 stock in 2030. I think it has some merit whether it will happen or not. I'll leave to you, but I want to bring it to your attention, and that's what I'm going to do right after I disclose I'm not your financial advisor. I'm only here for entertainment and education purposes. I'll be right back. Best of Us Investors presents Kerry Griegmeier. Okay, as I said, Acceler is a search engine, if you will, uh, for the pharmaceutical industry. Imagine that you are Eli Lilly or your Biogen, and your task is to sit down and find the, the new drug that's going to change the world. Well, the first thing you do is you hire a bunch of lab technicians, and you put them in white coats, and you build a laboratory, and you say, okay, go out there and do some tests, and let's figure out uh, if you put molecule a with molecule B, and then introduce it to molecule Q, what happens? And that's what a lab technician does. And he then goes to his journal and enters his information, and that journal might be online. And uh, then he goes and he, he makes a, changes A and B and Q to A and B and Z, and sees what happened and makes a comparison. Well, that's how the world worked in the past. But as Accelergen came into this, they said, why don't we 
pool all the information of all your lab technicians and introduce it to artificial intelligence. And so what lab te technician one does can be compared to what lab technician 132 does, and maybe we can come to some conclusion. And that's what they did relative to this coronavirus and generated a bunch of money. And so when it IPO'd, it came out at what, uh, 50 some dollars a share, and now uh, $58 a share. And now it's sunk to uh, $15.65 because basically, the revenues that came off of that venture with with um, Eli Lilly have dried up, and so the the market is saying, okay, what do you got next? And the and the pipeline isn't full. But what my point is, and what my tribe believes, and what we shared in our videos on July 23rd and July 27th, and what Bill Gates and Peter Thiel, Thiel knows is that this is revolutionary. This is going to be um, the, the algorithm comparable to the algorithm that made Google what it is today. This is going to be the algorithm that is going to change the pharmaceutical industry between now and 2030. So what I want to do is I want to take you to the article that I read um, and l just pull some excerpts out of it so that you can get somebody else's opinion and recognize this isn't me saying this is going to be a $990, $19 stock and a 59X by 2030. This is someone else who has got more knowledge in the area than I do, and he wants to share it with you. So let me take you to that article and let's kind of examine it. Okay, this is the uh, Seeking Alpha page that I was speaking of. And this is the article that I was talking about. As you can see, it was actually written on May the 30th. And um, let's go to it and you'll see it's written by uh, Confounded Interest. Confounded Interest. And it's about um, Absella Biley, the highest conviction pick with the longest potential payoff. So what I did was then go and uh, take a a copy of this article and segment out the parts of it that that I thought you needed to uh, be aware of. So I'm going to start with um, what in fact is Absella, um, and let's explore that. What the company does. Absella reviews itself as a technology company focused on enabling faster and much more efficient drug discovery. They use an integrated stack of patented, proprietary technologies to find and develop both antibodies and cell therapies in partnership with biotechnology and pharmaceutical companies. Okay, and these are the companies that uh, they're partnering with. So in other words, they have access to Lilly and Gelliard's um, and, and uh, Merck's technicians. And they, they are basically sorting through their lab work and comparing, probably staying within the house of Lilly, within the house of Pfizer, uh, and comparing their work and then feeding back to them the results that they find. So they, this is a very unique way of working because they don't charge a fee for what they do, they're doing. They merely charge a fee for using their software software, and then what they do is participate in a form of royalties for any drugs that they produce in the future. Now, this it's interesting what our author here says. The COVID-19 blessing and curse. Abcellera hit mainstream recognition with the development of bomlanivimab, a monoclonal antibody infusion developed by Abcellera and Eli Lilly in the groundbreaking speed of just under three months. This infusion has already been used on over 400,000 patients and has been estimated to have saved over 10,000 lives already. Abcellera and Lilly also have a second monoclonal antibody currently rapidly advancing in the clinic which Abcellera believes may provide a complete treatment solution including all variants currently in circulation around the globe. So, as you can see, there's, there's a lead time here. Uh, they were successful with uh, this... Bamlanidivimid, 
um, and they made money off of that. And that's why it it um, IPO'd at about uh, $58 a share. But then the market basically said, uh, there's nothing coming in the pipeline. And so the price dro- dropped uh, ex- uh, down to in the $15.65 range. So what's the potential? Again, I want to go to the article and let someone else tell you the potential because I don't know this subject matter, but uh, the author does. So let's look at this. The potential. Absellera CEO Carl Hansen at a recent conference with Burenberg noted that by 2030, Absellera is modeling having over 1,000 development programs in place with hundreds of partners. If Absellera is anywhere near that number in 2030, investors could potentially be on a rocket ship ride once the royalties begin piling up. If we use 1,000 programs as a guidepost for the potential and using a similar formula I published in my prior piece on Absellera here, I get the following. 1,000 programs multiplied by a 40% success rate equals 400 royalty producing programs. Now when he says 1,000 programs, that's not 1,000 pharmacies, that's multiple programs within uh, a, a, a pharmacy. And he's saying there's going to be roughly a 40% uh, success rate, thus developing royalties from 400 producing programs. 400 royalty producing programs multiplied by a $200 million average drug sales figure equals $80 billion. $80 billion total sales multiplied by an average 12.5% royalty rate, as used in the Lilly deal, equals $10 billion in royalties due to Abcelera. Now the potential $10 billion in royalties is per year and should flow directly to the bottom line as the company has structured each deal to cover its basic costs with technology access fees and research fees largely covering its overhead. Remember that the company will still be growing with new partnership deals every year and new products hitting both the clinic and the marketplace each year at this point so a valuation of 25 times earnings is not at all unreasonable. Valuing Abcelera at 25 times earnings would give the company a $250 billion market cap or 34.25 times the current $7.27 billion market cap number. Using this basic formula and assuming minimal dilution due to the company's strong cash position, nearly $700 million in Q1, shares have the potential to be valued at $919 in 2030 for a compound rate of return approaching 48% per year. Okay, he goes on to say that uh, this is basically a conservative uh, a prediction. There, there, he, he, he feels very confident that this will be, and, and he doesn't use, these are my words, uh, this will be the, the software, the artificial intelligence that takes our healthcare system to a new level and brings it to what its potential is. There are risks, there are um, potential changes, government stepping in on drug prices, but um, then the other question is the leadership in technology. Abcelera currently is the clear leader in the field given its leadership in technology, AI, computation and patented diagnostic tools it uses to find and develop antibodies and cell therapeutics. Many other companies are chasing this position so this threat is real with new technologies and biomedical advances created each year. The company simply must invest heavily in maintaining its lead and technology stack. This will require the skill to integrate new technologies into its process as they become mature. Thankfully in every interview I have heard from CEO Carl Hansen, he has mentioned this as a key area of focus for Abcelera. The key test is once the company has some success, the constant need for reinvention of the process to stay on the cutting edge can be tiresome. If Abcelera rests on its laurels, they will be in danger. Okay, that pretty much spells out. Uh, Again, this is an article in Seeking Alpha. Uh, If you're subscribed, I'm sure you can can find it. And he goes on to say this is his largest holdings. He has made a tremendous bet on it. and he actually purchased it at $34 a share. And as I said, today it's down to uh, $15.65. Okay, that's why I'm high on Abcelera. Uh, I recognize that it is probably not going to read it, reach its full potential uh, for what would it be, nine years now, maybe 10 years. But it is to 
the pharmaceutical industry what Google is to the search industry. And we now know that Google is the largest advertising revenue generating company in the world. I see similarities here, as I said, between Netlist developing a, a and, and getting patents on a technology that is, is going to change the world. We were exposed to artificial intelligence, at least I was, through the book, The Big Nine, uh, a number of years ago, and we see that what what artificial intelligence has done for companies like Google, for Facebook, for Apple, for Amazon Web Services. We're now seeing, as a result of the coronavirus, a new level of attention being placed on healthcare and a recognition that the system we have doesn't work. Or let's rephrase it and say it could work so much better. And through the application of artificial intelligence and companies like Accelera, uh, that's going to change. The question is, are we patient enough and do we have enough foresight to invest in small companies like this and take advantage of their exponential growth? As I said, we've been talking about this in our tribe since, um, well, Drew brought it to our attention as early as July 23rd. We've had our investment committee look at it. We've been discussing it on our um, our Patreon, and that's and if you're interested in that and joining us, that's go to this bestofusinvestors.com. Give me your email address, uh, give me your name, and I'll send you an invitation to the Discord. To participate in the Discord at full boat, it's about $10, not about, it is exactly $10 a month. But I think it's worth it if, in fact, this is the game you want to play, that is investing in the future. If you're a day trader, probably not. If you're a swing trader, maybe. But really what we're looking for is the companies that are going to change the way we live and change our life. And, and that is, again, investing in tomorrow. Um, you, 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 I want you to go back to the, the uh, 1998 and ask yourself the question, what has changed my life the most since 1998? Well, it's the Internet. It, it's the cell phone. And so they are all evolving in their own right, that is Amazon, Google, Apple, Microsoft. But now we have new companies that are saying, let's take that same technology or an adaptation of that technology and apply it to other fields. And again, to reiterate, I believe the most important event that has happened in my lifetime, and that's a 76 years, was the coronavirus. And the most change that will happen in the next 10 years is going to be in the healthcare system. So I believe that uh, Abcelera is one of the players in there, if not one of the major players, if they keep their stuff current, if they keep developing. And from what I've read, that is going to happen. And I'm, I'm, I'm encouraged by the fact that Bill Gates is an owner of this, a major investor, as is Peter Thiel. So that's what this channel is all about. Um, I do get into uh, some other stocks, and I do get into market conditions. I, if recently you have seen, I disagree with some people on what's happening in China. I think you need to be very cautious there because our world is changing. Our government is recognizing some exposures there. We're going to have a change in the way our world is funded and what we fund uh, to, to make us a safer and a healthier place. So that's my take on uh, Abcelera. Um, and if you'd like to participate in this, please give a thumbs up, hit the bell so you know when I put out my next uh, video, and come join us at Best of Us Investors. I'll be talking to you probably again tomorrow.